guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna K. Delahaye from the blog hughesofdelahaye.com and in today's video I'll be reviewing the Fujifilm 56mm 1.2 lens. I'll be briefly addressing some of the features of the lens, I'll be showing you guys some raw images that I've taken using the lens and I'll be discussing how as a travel blogger I use this lens for my travel and lifestyle images. So if you like the sound of that, stick around. So I'm going to address something straight off the bat guys. If you are looking for a very technical review of this lens this won't be that video for you and um, there are tons of other videos on YouTube that do go into like the technical aspects of this lens and I do advise you to check one of those out if that's the type of reviews that you like however I'm going to review this lens as a travel blogger based on the image quality and based on using it for lifestyle and travel content and also as someone who's owned this lens for like a year now um, I will give you that kind of overview of the lens but if you're looking for something super technical check out another video there's tons of them on YouTube so now that's over let's get into the review so guys this is the 56 and this is the lens with the hood cap I'll just take the hood cap off and the lens body is made out of metal and you can feel that it's quite robust it's quite substantial in the hand and you can see that this is a lot of glass there um, and the build quality oh my god you can feel that this is a premium a premium lens and it's also chunky and um, when I was looking to get this lens I was looking at a lot of reviews and a lot of people said that oh this lens is quite big and I think after getting the lens and also after owning a few additional Fuji primes yes this lens is big in comparison to other Fuji primes the 56 is the an equi focal length equivalent of the 85 this lens it, it, there's no comparison because the 85 on a full frame is like as big as my head while this is so <laughs> it can fit in my arm so I think that what they meant was it's large for a Fuji prime lens but in comparison to a 85 on a Sony um, and a Canon this this is a tiny tiny lens uh, that gives you amazing images so I just want to address the of the bat so this is a fast prime and it has an aperture of 1.2 and the aperture range is from 16 to 1.2 on this lens and that 1.2 gives a very um, beautiful um, bokeh or blurry background which is ideal for portraiture even though a lot of people grab this lens for um, portrait photography I use it for travel and lifestyle and yes it's not your typical travel lens however I find that it gives a different perspective for travel images and for lifestyle images open wide it's still super sharp at 1.2 aperture um, and it's just it creates a beautiful background for lifestyle images so that's why I love using this lens for lifestyle my lifestyle and my travel images it's just it gives the dreamiest look as I said before this lens is made out of metal and the build I think it, the build quality is amazing um, the focus and the aperture ring or tactile I don't know I like the feel of them because you can control everything you can control your aperture you can really work with this lens um, and it does it does make a bit of a clicking sound especially when it's zooming so one thing to bear in mind with this lens is if you're doing videos it does make a noise um, so if you are doing videos that might be distracted if your videos are quite quiet when I'm taking stills I can hear it trying to focus so that might be a bit distracting if you are doing videos to hear something I don't know it kind of and goes back and forth with the sound and um, so bear that in mind if you are doing video the only negative with this lens is that it's not weather seal so you have to really be careful when you're taking it out in any kind of drizzle or wet kind of environment also I know that for the 56 there is an APD version of this lens however from what I've seen, I haven't seen any benefit in the, that version and also that version is more expensive than your normal 56. So if you are looking at getting um, this lens, definitely just get the normal lens. You're going to save yourself some money. You can use that money to buy a plane ticket to go travel somewhere. So a brand new 56mm lens will be costing you around £950. But guys, you already know I'm about that second handling life and I picked my lens up for 
580 pounds because I just think that you can take that additional money and actually spend it on an experience and take photos of the experience so if you're thinking about getting this lens definitely look if you can get it um, second hand so guys I know that Fuji has a 50 millimeter f2 lens out which a lot of people try to compare in contrast between the 50 millimeter and the 56 millimeter and to be honest a lot of people who have shot with the 50 I've, and shot and then shot with the 56 say it's no comparison the 56 is obviously the superior lens she is the Beyonce of both lens um, and let's be honest we want to go with Beyonce we don't want Beyonce's cousin yeah you can check it out you can check out the 50 but to be honest why would you when you have Beyonce one thing I want to address guys is like when I was doing my research to get this lens um, and you probably find it as well that a lot of people will say oh this lens is slow to focus it you miss shots with this lens and that's why people don't like it or whatnot and then I found like when I got the lens I took it out I just bought it this the same day I received it I took it I went to London Bridge during rush hour and then I just like tried to shoot people um, and I did find that I was missing I was missing shots and I was it was becoming out of focus and what I did um, to really get a feel of this lens and what I would recommend for anyone buying a lens for the first time or trying a lens at a new focal length is what I did was put this lens on my camera and had it on my camera for a month and I only shot with this focal length and like it really improved I, like I realized that all the mistakes I was making when I first got the lens were on me weren't on the lens because I didn't really know how to use it properly I wasn't setting up my shots properly so I thought oh, th oh people were right the lens were was um, slow it was throwing out of focus even when I was thinking oh it was it should be in focus so I think a lot of the things that um, when I first got the lens I thought oh these are problems it was actually down to human error I would advise you to do that when you're buying any new lens especially when you're buying this lens um, because it's such a speciality lens that I would definitely go out and practice before you use it on clients before you take it on your holiday just practice with it and get a feel of the lens um, and a feel of the focal length first and then go out and do your thing so now that I've covered all these things let's get into the good stuff which is the images that this lens produced because let's be honest that is the bread and butter of lenses so let's get into it as you can see guys this is a photo of me and this is Niels Yard in London and basically this is shot at 1.6 and as you can see I'm not too blurred out from the background um, but I'll just go on to the next image and again this is at 1.6 and as you can see from from the background the lighting is quite harsh and there's lots of people but you can still see me um, made out very clearly like everything even down to my shoe and again this was like a more of a lifestyle kind of shot so again if you if you're shooting a lot of lifestyle bloggers fashion bloggers they're gonna want their outfits or whatever like their or their purse or their outfit to stand out um, and I think this was done beautifully like you can see the dress you can see my jeans jacket so that's something that if you're shooting lifestyle bloggers they are more concerned with and they might be working for a brand in collaboration with a brand for the clothes so they want that to basically sh be showcased and again <clears throat> this is another image I shot and this is shot at um, 2.0 aperture and this is again of a lifestyle blogger this is slightly edited and this is the color like obviously it's it's like autumn so I'm going for a more rich tone I wanted to highlight all the redness um, in the tree in her hat and the warm the warm tones in the actual coat and the silk dress so like I would so I edit for that but as you can see the detail in a shot um, almost wide open you can even see like the buttons everything is beautiful and that's what you are looking for when you are shooting with this kind of lens it is like it's giving you amazing lifestyle images you can still have an element of the background 
to create a scene however as you can see that this girl is sharp and in focus and it's more, as again it's a lifestyle kind of aspect where you're saying oh that's somewhere you can go in autumn and um, this is a jacket or a dress that you can wear during autumn so that's one of the things that I, and it's quite beautiful it's quite feminine and it's soft but the image is sharp. it's soft in a feminine way but the image is still crispy especially the image of the actual lifestyle blogger so this is a photo of another lifestyle blogger um, and as you can see she's definitely separated from the background and this is raw this is a raw image we are looking at guys um and i'll just zoom in so you can see it's like tack shop and this is at um an aperture of two on the 56 and look like her lipstick her earring everything like even the kind of pattern in the in her sweater is tack sharp when you go into it uh the buttons everything at, and this is at two guys so just imagine if you were shooting like five or six but again for lifestyle bloggers these girls want the, their clothes um, or their earring or whatever kind of like outfit that they're showcasing to be the focus so they do like I shoot them a lot with blurry backgrounds while keeping the detailing of their outfits quite in focus and as you can see this is stunning it's just amazing you can even go in and see like each hair actual follicle that's how sharp this is like you can like see all her baby hairs shot her eyelashes like it's this this lens this is why i love this lens just looking at the image and this is a raw image just looking at the the color is beautiful this is unedited this is raw so guys this is the same this is the same girl and i'm just showing you the original photo against what a, a photo that i edited and i just edited it to be a bit more warmer and to make her skin tone look slightly more richer i I do tend towards the like warmer side of editing um, and I think this is, is beautiful like the way everything came out um, it looks rich it looks like a summer day even though it was in the middle of winter um, but her face you will never tell that from her facial expression and if we just go in again everything and this is shot at again too an aperture of two and everything is still in focus everything looks beautiful everything is tack sharp um, and this is some of the things that you will be seeing when you're shooting with this lens it's very flattering I find it very flattering on facial features this image is of another blogger that I shot um, this is a, a edited image and this is shot at an aperture of 1.6 and as you can see like it's beautiful it definitely throws everything out of focus this is in east london and as you can see the graffiti is on the back is filled with this part of london is filled with a lot of street art and graffiti and as you can see we have some on the back there and we wanted to kind of throw it out of focus and just keep her in focus and basically showcase her sequins pants and her um, jacket so that's what we did this is shot at um, and I'll just zoom in so you can see how sharp this lens is even shot at 1.6 like this is incredible um, you can see all every sequence on her trousers and this is really this is one of the things I that's why I really love shooting fashion with this lens it's as you can tell guys i love this lens so guys i'm gonna be showing you this again is an unedited um photo from that shoot with this uh, model and as you can see without editing the colors are still rich they are still vibrant and it is still tack sharp and this is shot an aperture of two and as you can see like her the de detailing on her earring is sharp but for me the color like the brown and the gold and the red just behind her the color just looks so beautiful um, and this is another thing that's I like the image and the color science and the I don't know what they're doing with this color but the color is always beautiful and it's very flattering to all skin tone types okay, this one is an edited image and again I like my image to be slightly warmer but just look how beautiful this 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 photo is shot almost wide open you cannot deny that everything is in focus everything is sharp like each sequence can be seen um, and the blurriness 
of the background like everything in this photo is so rich and appealing like visually and for someone who is a fashion blogger they can use these images with whatever brands they are collaborating or on their instagram so i find that this lens like a lot of girls they love the images that the this lens produce especially if they're lifestyle and um, fashion bloggers because they can showcase the clothes in and make it look really beautiful and effortless so now guys you're gonna see my travel images shot on the 56 millimeters and the image that you're seeing now is actually was actually shot in jamaica and i am jamaican guys so every time i go back i try to capture as much as my country as possible um, and as you can see <clears throat> i was actually on a boat taking these photos um, because i was going out to do some snorkeling and as you can see like jamaica like you will see in these photos a lot of lushness a lot of greenery um, and a lot of sea so i really liked how i just wanted to test out the 56 and see how it would all the images would come out i really love what what this lens produced to be honest and um it was really good with these travel images i'll just go to another photo and again you can see like i like the composition of this i like everything the detailing um it was just like this lens is a like a, a really great lens to use even on travel even though a lot of people don't use it on travel i find that it gives you really amazing um images so like the images that i took really came out well um and i didn't know what to expect when i were what when i was taking these lens because i was testing the 56 out as a travel lens and it really held up so i now i take it on a lot of my trips with me so i hope you guys found my review of the fujifilm 56 mm 1.2 lens valuable if you did give this video a thumbs up mate um, and stick around for more fujifilm review and more travel videos leave any comments below or on any questions that you'd like me to answer in the bottom of this video regarding this lens regarding using using it or even regarding where i got it sec second hand um, or any additional fuji lens that you um, think i should review or you'd like to get my opinion on please leave that down in the comments below please subscribe um, to my channel like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye